Hello there, my name is Andrew Crawford, Crestview Elementary School. I am going to be reading a story today entitled, The Elves and the Shoemaker, originally by the Brothers Grimm. Here we go. Once upon a time there lived a shoemaker. He worked very hard, but he was still very poor. At last he had only one piece of leather. It was just enough to make one pair of shoes. He cut the leather and put it on his table. I will make the shoes in the morning, he said to his wife. The shoemaker and his wife went to sleep and slept peacefully through the night. In the morning he went to his table. To his amazement, the shoes were already made. The shoemaker did not know what to think. They were the finest shoes he had ever seen. The same day, a rich man came into the shop. I like these shoes very much. They are just my size, said the man. I will pay you a higher price than usual for them. And he gave the shoemaker two coins. The shoemaker used the two coins to buy leather for two more pairs of shoes. He cut the leather and went to bed. In the morning, the shoemaker found two pairs of shoes already made. Who is making these shoes? said the shoemaker. These are the best shoes I have ever seen. Soon two customers came in and bought the shoes. They paid him four coins. The shoemaker bought leather for four more pairs of shoes. Just as before, he cut out the leather. In the morning, he found four more pairs of shoes. Soon, four customers came in and bought the shoes. And so it went for some time. I would like to stay up tonight to see who is making the shoes, said the shoemaker. His wife liked the idea too, so they hid behind a curtain. They watched and waited. At midnight, in came two little elves. They sat on the table and went right to work. They stitched and sewed. The elves worked until all the shoes were done. Then they were gone in a flash. The next day, the wife said, These elves have been so kind to us. I want to do something kind for them. They need new clothes to keep warm. I will make each of them pants, a shirt, and a coat, and you can make them each a pair of shoes. And they went right to work. One night, the shoemaker did not leave leather on the table. He left the nice clothes and shoes instead. The shoemaker and his wife hid behind the curtain to see what the elves would do. At midnight, in came the two little elves. When they saw the clothes for them, they laughed and hopped around the room. Look how happy they are, the shoemaker whispered to his wife. The elves put on the clothes and skipped and danced. At last, they danced out the door and were never seen again. And the kind shoemaker and his wife lived happily ever after. Thank you very much.